this example here, we just it's um, yeah. This, so basically, basically, this is the code that you want to fuzz, and yeah, um, as as mentioned, we just need to compile it once, and when it's compiled, you can just um, starting. We can just start it with uh, with yeah, so um, this um, value profile facet, and the, all these examples are available into the JSON records. So now, if we um, we start this, we see that um, it will take a bit more time because uh, this is not a simple, um, not only a simple a, um, a string compare, but it will eventually find uh, find the bug. And here we see we got the progress that uh, uh, that we are finding more interesting inputs. With each time we found a, an input, we get um, this counter here um, increased. And yeah, um, and so one idea as why fuzzing also good for for an integration into the development process is that. Any interesting inputs that the fuzzer finds, it just keeps in what we call as a, a seed co a corpus of interesting inputs. And meaning this means that the fuzzer would not start from scratch each time, but it, it starts from the accumulated knowledge that it has gathered over, over time. And here we see that, uh, yeah, we were able to trigger the bug and the input that um, Check out this bug, it's called Jazza Value Profiling, and just to demonstrate the feature of the technique that we use to kind to track, to crack these kind of um, of um, of inputs.